Philippines. <laughs> Hi, we are back on the latest episode of the Silver Fox Hustle podcast. Now, we are on Spotify, we are on YouTube, we are everywhere actually. So follow us on the different platforms. And of course, if you have uh, someone in mind for me to speak to for our latest guest, so let me know as well. Now, let's not waste time because uh, we've got a very good show for us today. Uh, he is a professional football player with the Lion City Sailors and the national team, the, uh, the Singapore national team. He has played for a couple of uh, clubs, started off as at Tampanese uh, Rovers, HUFC, which is Home United, Young Lions, Lions 12, and also Malacca for a short stint. He is a central midfielder, but not many people know that he started playing as a striker. We'll talk to him about that as well. He won the S League title, the Singapore Cup, the SPL last year, and of course, the Suzuki Cup in 2012. Now, of course, with the success of... Uh, it also comes with heartbreak and I will talk about that terrible injury that he had in 2014, I believe. All that behind him, he is playing arguably the best football of his career, in my opinion, at least. Welcome to the Silver Fox Hustle podcast, Mr. Shadan Sulaiman. Hello, Shasi. Happy to be here. Uh, I'm very happy to have you in. You know, I, I wanted, always wanted to have a chat with you for the longest time and finally we are here. Uh, of course, uh, uh, it's Ramadan, obviously. So uh, have have a good Ramadan to you as well. Thank you. You had uh, a game last night. Let's yes. speak a little bit about that. I did that game. Uh, I commentated on that game. How how did, do you think it went? Uh, to be honest, I thought performance wise, it wasn't as good as we expect it to be. But other than that, uh, three points, uh, clean sheet. I think there's there's nothing more that we, we could ask for. It's it's a it's a typical answer from a professional footballer. Wherever whether you're the underdog, you are the favourites or whatever. Three points, clean sheet. That that is very very important, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's very it's important. True. I think that, that's what matters at the end. You know, yeah. at the end of the season, you see that these three points might uh, result in you being champion of the league. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, performance wise wasn't wasn't that great, but results matter. I, I, I want to ask you this because I did message you, score me a goal from a free kick. You nearly scored in the opening, I don't know, five minutes or so. Nearly scored, right? Yep. Did the keeper get a touch to it? Yes, he did. He did, right? Yeah. He did, right. I was okay. surprised he got a touch to it. Yeah, and, and he hit the post, obviously. Yep. Um, I, I just want to touch on, we'll talk about home, uh, sorry, uh, LCS a little bit later. Why do you think you guys have not been performing, perf I'm talking about performance, I'm not talking about results, right? right. In, in that sense, because, listen, you guys are hot favourites to win the league mm. uh, and in terms of performance I think I, and I don't think it's uh, unfair for the fans to expect you guys to go out there and put out performances every single uh, game and then win games like I don't know 2-3-0 or, or whatever right? well, why do you think so is there a, a, a gel gelling problem or, or what's there I think that's what is expected of us with, with the price tag that, that we, we come along with uh, so, performance-wise, not been great. I think it's due to the to the coaching staff. You know, he he's trying out a, a few few players. I think trying to see, maybe preparing for the Champions League as well, where it's a tight schedule. You know, so maybe he's trying to see uh, which place he can count on, on right. or or trying to 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 see who can fit with who. You yeah. know, so I, I feel that that might be probably be the case. I, I want to say this as well, right? Because uh, let, let's take the coaching aspect out of the way. Individually, right? You guys have got, I think you told me, is it nine games this month, right? Yep. Individually, right? When you go into a game, do you think that, okay, we, we'll win this game, but we play within ourselves. We don't want to go at 100%. And, and does that play in your mind? Because you've got nine games. You've got six Champions League games. For me personally, no. I go out there to, to win a, every game. Game if possible by big margin. I think that's up to the the coaching staff to to right. plan on that. You know, right. I think yeah, yesterday's match for an instant. If if we were to lead by a few goals, mm. maybe they they can afford to do that. Yeah, but leading by a solitary goal, I think it, it was difficult for them to to do that. Right. Uh, just a quick word, right before we go on and talk about yourself. Just a quick word because I think right, <laughs> the young lions. I've I've done two games. The last week's game and to uh, yesterday's game for the young lions. I don't think they're bad at all, right? The way they've played the game, I, I don't think they're bad at all. And what what do you think about their performance so far? Uh, uh, the past two games? Uh, I thought they, they had a system in place. I think most uh, of the players uh, mm. are together for, for quite a while now, I think yeah. since last year. So yeah. so so they understand what, uh, what is the wants of the coach, yeah. you know? They understand the system. They know what they're trying to do. 
uh, how they want to play, how they set up to play. Yeah. And at the end of the day, they have no pressure, you know. They're right. playing against any teams that yeah. they are so-called expected to lose. So they got there with guns blazing with nothing to lose. Anyone stood out for you last night, for them? Oh, I thought as usual, I think uh, Joel, yeah. Shah, mm. I, think, I think they did. They did pretty decent. Great. A shout out to you, Shah and Joel, if you are listening in. I, I think that's uh, uh, words of... Uh, Praise from uh, Sharan. Let's talk about you, your childhood. Let's let's talk about how you grew up. You know, because I think this part is all about that. It's about uh, your, your your life journey, uh, how you over overcame all your you know struggles and whatever. Childhood wise, right? How, how was it growing up? Uh, I'm the only boy in you the family. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, right. So I have one elder sister and one younger one. Yeah. So growing up. Basically, I just I was like a shadow to my dad. Mm. He's a football fan. He said he used to play football, which I've never seen before. But he said just uh, <laughs> pictures of him playing. Okay, okay. So he loves watching football. So right. I will follow him everywhere, watching the what is it called the uh, S League last time. Mm. So we would travel all over Singapore to to watch matches. Then wake up in in morning to watch Champions League and right, all that. So right. so basically. That's how I, I grew up uh, loving football. Were you the introverted type or the extroverted? You you seem you seem to be the introverted type. Are you? Yes, I am. You actually, are? yeah. You 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 don't you, you don't share much, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> Even to the clo- closest friends, you have you obviously you have your circle of friends, right? Yeah. But you, it, it's a small group, isn't it? Very small, actually. Right. Because I, to be honest, I don't feel comfortable opening up or. Even speaking to someone new, you know, right? Yeah, right. I'm always good with right. that group of close friends. Okay, and I think they know who I really am. Right, but when it's someone new, I'll be like a different person. Okay, yeah. Please be yourself here <laughs> on this spot. You know, yeah. You know, I I have to be doing a very. You know, now as you get older, you you learn <laughs> these things. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right. I, I was worse last time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't even want to do all this. You, then would someone then say that you are, I mean they wouldn't know you right would they say that you're an arrogant person have have you ever come across that before like <laughs> no 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 maybe shy yes right yeah. maybe okay. because I'm also rarely in the limelight so right. you you are not I, I don't think so okay enough <laughs> okay uh, we will come to that later on right uh, you, the schools that you included right uh, sorry you you attended uh, including poly uh, primary school secondary schools which, which schools did you uh, Lower primary was because my family shifted quite a lot. Mm. So lower primary was Pasiris primary. Okay. After that, upper primary was Singkang primary. Okay. After that, the four years in Siglap secondary. Ah, okay. Then Nanyang Poly. Right, my right. Diploma. What kind of a student were you? Uh, Straight A's, B's, uh, okay, okay, average. <laughs> uh... Smarter ones, I would say. Yeah, one of the smarter ones. Yeah. <laughs> were you the 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 smart Alec type or no? I'm not, not the geeky think, type as well. No, right? but no. you're smart. I would like to think so. You got you got A's. I do. What was your what was your best subject? Uh, math, to be honest. Really? Yeah. So I took uh, pure science in school. Mm, okay. They don't offer triple science, so it's only double science. Uh. And I took additional math. So I and went, emats of course emats yeah. and emats right yep you 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 are one of the smarter <laughs> <laughs> footballers you know and again this is a stereotype right but, yeah but listen that's great right how was your emats by the way what oh, I, I did well actually your emats yeah what, what, what did you get about three b3 well done well, my well, friend yeah. absolutely i was brilliant. asked to drop actually a uh, emats yeah yeah after sec three the yeah. teacher didn't want me to bring down the percentage. <laughs> really? So she told me to drop. I said, no, I started on it already. For one year, I want to finish it. And she had no choice but to allow me to. Hey, that, that, that is a, a wonderful story to start off this podcast with, you know, for the students who are listening in, right? It's great. This is great. This is an example that you can do both. You can play professional football. You can study if you put your mind to it. And I tell you this story, right? I, I did A-Mats and A-Mats as well. Mm-hmm. A-Mats, I got a 1. A-Mats, I failed. I got 9. <laughs> How do you do A-Mats, man? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy subject. And we don't use it now, right? Exactly. We don't use it now. What, exactly. what the, what, Why what? do you even take it in the first place? It's <laughs> a good point. It's a point for AOE. Please go and sort this out, my friends. Uh, yeah, so you, you're a smart student. Now, how do you start loving the beautiful game 
in terms of because of obviously because of the influence of your dad, right? Yeah. Who who which teams did you support in the S League? Because you 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 did follow. Oh, S League! I love going to Bishan Stadium for Home United, Home United because of right. the the band. Ah, yeah, okay. so it was lively, you know, the atmosphere, the stadium. The support was good, right? yeah. So I I love going there. Okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, about uh, how about the foreign teams? Do you follow what, what? Manchester United till now, right? Yes, you're a Man U fan, right? Yes, who 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 were you looking up to when you were growing up? When then? I was much younger, like you say, I was a striker, right? Yeah. So I love Alan Shearer. <laughs> okay, that was your 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 favorite player. Yeah. Okay. When I was uh, mm. younger, so I, when I grew up, when I played in midfield, then okay. I I started watching Zidane. I I love the way he played. Right. The way he he is like graceful on the pitch. So right. I like watching him. So these are obviously two. Even now, right? I think if you look back, probably your favorite two most favorite players. Yep. You can't go wrong with Alan Shearer. <laughs> I, love I think people will be surprised hearing Alan Shearer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But so they don't even know who. Maybe he is. the younger ones, right? Yeah. I love his penalties, <laughs> top corner, and he it's shoots. Celebration. Too. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 of course Zidane, it's magic, right? Yep. Uh, <laughs> so those were the two favorite players, right? Now, did you ever growing up at that time? You know, you your 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 dad brought you to games. You were following all these players, right? Did you ever? Have that dream that okay one day did you ever think that one day I'm I'm gonna be a professional footballer at least? Not at that point, you know you you know you want to play, but yeah. whether you can make it at the top level, that that's a different story. Okay, but I think uh, throughout my life, whatever choices or decisions I made, yeah, were made towards ah. that. You know. Yeah. yeah, that that was that was the next question actually. So how did you like? Okay, yeah, I I want I want to be a, a footballer, right? What were the steps in terms of how you want to go about doing it? So, so I was lucky to have my dad. You know, he was the yeah. one like reading papers and all that. So watching out for trials yeah. and all that. So I started out with when I was eleven years old for Tampines under twelve mm. at that point of time. So they were uh, holding trials at yeah. Tampines Stadium. Yeah. So he said, "Why not? We we give it a try." Yeah. So, and and it started from there when I I started getting selected and. No, slowly it it builds mind. Would you say you are a natural footballer? Because you know sometimes when you see kids, right? When they when they when they just go get into the pitch, even at eight nine years old, you can you can tell you yeah. can tell, right? A natural. Were you then? Do you think so? Uh, I wouldn't say natural because I started pretty young. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I used to play with my dad. And he used to set up some things outside the house mm. for me to play with, like yeah. kicking against the wall and all yeah. those those simple things, you know, running around the track with him right. and and all that. So I, <laughs> I think I'm not natural, but I started young, so right. it may look natural to to I see. people then. I see, I see. So I I think that is the advantage, isn't it, of of starting young firstly, and of course, going out there and just playing. Yep. Yep. Kicking a ball. Yep. Were you one of those who started playing at the white decks? Yeah. 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 Very much so. Breaking Very some much. lights. Yes. Even during examination <laughs> period. <laughs> yeah. Harris told me about his as well. His 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 story, right? Going to Barcelona and stuff. Uh, so so can I safely say that your dad was probably the 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 earliest influences? Yeah. Or the definitely the influencer yep. of of yeah. Uh, and and did you ever think that one day you would play pro football? Number one, donning the national colours. At that time, when you were take, doing trials and you already, you know, mm-hmm. got into a team, and then you know, okay, you know, I, I, I can do this. Did you ever imagine that you would one day just play professional football for a very long time? Number one, donning the national colours as well, right? It's everybody's dream, right? If yeah. you want to play football, and going out on special <laughs> shows like this one, did you ever think? To be honest, no, no at all. Never at all. No. At the point of time, we were like basically just enjoying the football, you know, taking one thing at a yeah. time. So, and we see where it leads me to. But you know, as you progress further and further and further, you know that you know it can actually make it. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Tell me the point that you th- you thought. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Uh. That that there must be a point where you say, I'm just. Probably when I started with the the NFA, you know, you're in ah. the national setup. Mm. That you know that you're mm. on the right path. That yeah. you can be, you know, like yeah. So it started from there actually. You know, when when you're playing schools football and and whatever, right? Primary school, secondary school, your coaches or usually teachers, 
Usually lah, yeah. usually right. Were were yours the same as the well? The primary school, yes. Yeah. But for se- secondary school, we had an external coach. Do you ever remember any advice that you received then that you still think that it still you know plays a part today? Like like from your teacher maybe from in terms of football, did did you ever receive anything like that? Uh, to be honest, no. No. <laughs> maybe I think I'm I'm one of the good students, so from the teacher <laughs> I, I didn't receive anything, you know. <laughs> so basically, it's just like. Uh, you know, stay stay grounded. Right. Just keep working hard. Right. Because, like I said, none of the coaches or teachers know that any one of us would right. would make it. You know, at right. the end. So it's basically all about discipline and. Who who were your football coaches in school? Prim- uh, primary secondary school. It was uh, a teacher, geography. Right. Secondary school, it was an external coach, uh, coach Mustafa. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you were a striker. Yeah. Was it because you wanted to be a striker? Like as in, obviously you watch Shira and stuff, but then when you go for trials and whatever, I'm just going to be a striker. Was it like that? I wanted to be a goalkeeper at first. <laughs> my, my, my Why? I don't know, it just seems cool at that point of time. No, when you were were young, you the fat kid? No, I, I was uh, That is stereotype, right? Yeah. The fat kid, okay, that one, you just play goal. Chubby, I would say, but not yeah? fat, yeah? <laughs> but my dad said, no, you have a lot of injuries and broken bones, you know, keeper have to do this, that. So he scared <laughs> the hell out of me. So he talked me out of it. Okay. So, and said, striker is better, you know, you get to score goal, okay. your, your name will be there. So I said, okay, why not? Yeah. Right, right, right. And and you scored many goals, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Top scorer in what? Primary school competition? Yeah, the Top scorer. National, yeah. Do you remember how many goals? I don't remember. What? I just know I received like $500 worth of wow. Lotto well, that products. Is, that is a lot then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Back then, yeah. Wow. But it were all oversized shirts and all. <laughs> but uh, you, you remember what kind of goals that you like to score when you were a striker? Uh, I think primary school, the, the <laughs> teacher put me on the left wing. Okay, I don't know why. Maybe yeah. because I can cut in and just right. shoot. Right. What type of goal? Probably just dribbling two, three players and just shooting into a goal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It must have come easy for you. At that point of time, yeah. yes. Right? Yeah. So I think at that time already, you were like one step above or maybe two or three steps above that, that group, right? Did you ever feel that way? No? No. You just wanted to you know, yeah. enjoy yourself, right? Yeah. But I knew I was <laughs> better than some. Okay. Yeah. So I was just You're just being humble. Yeah. <laughs> I was scoring three, four, five goals in a match. <laughs> it's either you were too good, the team was cracked, the opponents. <laughs> <laughs> or they are being humble. <laughs> right. Now, why change positions? Why midfield? Is was there any period of time or uh... I think it was in secondary school okay. when it was more of a tactical change, you know, you have mm. a certain number of like good players where the coach have to make do. Yeah. So maybe at, at the centre of the pitch, uh, I'm able to control the game more. Okay. Sort of like both. Did did the, the coach or the, the teacher specifically tell told you uh, tell you that, that you can control the game from midfield? No. He, no. He just put me there and... Okay. He could see lah basically. Yeah. Right? So he put me there. So this when I started that. Oh, okay. This then you never changed position after that ever from secondary school. Never. No. no. It's just that I went to an attacking midfield. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. And now I, I'm back to that. A little bit of yeah. A, okay. We we'll talk about your role further later, right? You were a national champion in in, in school football. I mean, sports yep. boy of the year as well. Yeah. Did that further fuel your your drive to go forward? Uh, no. But it it opens up a lot of uh, opportunity mm. for me. Like what? Winning. Uh, I was. Able to go to, no, I met a teacher. Yeah. It, it was held at the the war was held at uh, National Junior College. Okay. So my teacher met a teacher of the NJC. Yeah. So she was keen to bring me on board ah. with NJ. Yep. So I I did pretty well for my prelims. I'm sure. So, the three months I spent at ah. National JC. So you had your three months at NJC. Yeah. How was that? It was different. <laughs> Was it, it difficult? Was, it was tiring for me when I tried that three months. Because you were you were playing football as well. Yeah, exactly. But in terms of the the the, the studies part, was it difficult? Uh, you could cook. I could cook. Mm. I feel you know. Right. Because they were giving me just the the three base subject for mm. me to to get to university. Right, right, right. Yeah, but but for me the the timing was off. Uh, it was it was tiring. I have even a a teammate. <laughs> 
yeah. asking me why I always see you sleeping on on the bus <laughs> on the way to school. Right, right, was, right, right. So that was pretty hectic for me. You know, in the morning go to school because right. you have this yeah. flag raising and all that. Yeah, yeah. Then after that, from there straight to training. Then you go home, check at night. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, you took the different route, right? You went to poly. What course did you take? Sport and wellness. Sport and wellness. How was yeah. that? Good, easy, easy peasy, right? Uh, From, li- relatable. Re- and and yeah. listen, the 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 difference between the poly and the JC is quite drastic, I would say. Yeah, yeah. right. Because it's more relaxed. You know, the timetable right. is sometimes right. you start in the afternoon, sometimes you start in the morning. Yeah. It's not really this. You don't have any lessons. Probably suited you as well with yeah. the training. Yeah, and like I said, so these decisions were, were made towards my my football mm. career. You know. Mm. So when I spoke with my dad, like, is this okay? Yeah. He said, yeah, it's fine if if. It's towards what right. you want, which is football. Beautiful, and you still have the education. Yeah. So why not? Great, great. And and another thing I want to ask you as well: Have you gone on to further your studies in a part-time role or whatever? Have you no, ever not since? yet? Not yet. Yeah. Any plans for that? I do actually. I'm still yeah. looking actually. Please, please go and, and do it. You know, I think Harris is doing it as well. Has, yeah. has he done it? Has he completed it? Not yet. Not I think yet. he's finishing soon. Yeah. Yeah. I spoke with him. About Listen, it. for someone who's very. Cerebral and smart and intelligent, right? Go, go and do it, man. You should, yeah. yeah, you should, you should. Well done. NFA. Let's talk a little bit about NFA, right? So, so you went for trials and whatever. So you got called up for the NFA team from where? How did you get picked up? Okay, I was in the there was COE yeah. East, so okay. I was from COE East, right? The coach was Mr. Rajan. Okay, so he 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 got to become which Mr. Rajan is from sports school. The Mr. Yes, Rajan from yes. sports. Okay, right. Yes. So he became the. One of the head coach okay. for combined school under fifteen. Okay. So I was still uh fourteen years old then. Okay. But he told me that why not you you join mm. join me for that uh yeah. under fifteen team. Right. So those were the days where they were wearing Nike and all yeah. that you know yeah. at the old teachers network at Green Street. Right. 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 So okay, why not? How, I, I, how long was that stint with NFA? How long was it? Actually, from that fifteen of combined school all the way until eighteen. Actually, wait, but wait. I was always following one year above me. Ah, so, so you were the younger that, one. Yes. Okay, that speaks about your talent, isn't it? <laughs> always, always at one year yeah. you were so the younger I was 15, one. Fifteen, I was sixteen. Sixteen with the seventeen, seventeen nice. with the eighteen. Did that help to improve your? I started out in the NFA sixteen as a reserve player actually. Okay. So Coach Sura has his mm. philosophy that. No matter what happens, his eleven will play every single game. Okay. Whether you come training or you don't come for whatever reason, this will be his eleven. How is that possible? Um, I don't know. That that's, that's okay. His, okay. His style. So, right. for me, I'm the reserve player. You know. Yeah. But the ones that are regularly coming trainings okay. are the mostly the ones uh, on the reserve. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And and of course, knowing yourself, the ones you you seem to be the one who's all always quiet. Don't ask questions. The yeah, sun, yeah, yeah. Just follow instructions, right? Yeah, just go only, right? Yeah. I mean, okay. I will miss everything outside of football, but not training. Wonderful. Yeah. But you miss school, school, school lessons and all. Here yeah, and there, here, really, and there. Yeah, here and there, yes, but okay. football, no. Yeah. <laughs> So you always one step below in terms of age, right? In terms of age, and 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 did it help you in terms of looking at the other players play and and improve? Did did it improve you, or you thought that you know after this thing I'm I'm just going back to a club and I might have a better chance to play? Oh, I didn't think that it was a better thing for me. But I mean, if if it's one step ahead at that point of time, you know, yeah. you you feel good that you are joining the yeah. the bigger boys, you know, right? And the one or your batch are looking at you, so okay. so if it, it feels good. Okay, so uh, we we fast forward a little bit. You went to Tampere after that. Yeah. Yes, I did. So who I picked was, you up? I was I was eighteen. Mm. So we had the Lion City that year. Okay. Sorry, I was seventeen. So yeah. I was with the under eighteen, right? Yeah. So Venga was the manager. Okay. So when I when we finished that year, I was supposed to stay for another year okay. with the NFA, right? Right, right. But I chose to go to Tampines. Okay. So Venga brought a few of I think five or six. Did he personally tell you? Okay, let's go. Let's go to Tampines. Yeah, yeah. He personally talked to like seven of us who, to bring who, us. Who to... were who was in that particular batch or who were in that batch? Okay. I think anyone that you know. So everyone who's he gone left football. Uh, yeah, except for Zayful. Which Zayful? Zayful goalkeeper. Uh, Zayful Nizam. Yeah. Okay. So he's the only one left. In our in that eighty seven batch. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to think that Venga had a uh, had a had a 
had a say in in probably your progress to Tampines uh, and, and what, what yes and yeah. no because out of the seven I'm the only one left because okay. Zaiful was the only one who got an SLE contract okay yeah yeah so right. the rest of us were scattered with prime leagues nice nice let's talk about Tampines you know I think I think there's there's loads to talk about there now uh firstly talk to me about the environment there because I think it was a different environment then when it with with Pam, the Thai coach, yeah. and, and everyone there. Yeah. Because at that time, uh, an opponent, the team that goes over and play at Tampines, you are never firstly going to get a touch of the ball, right? And somehow you'll just get hammered if you are a lesser team. Because yeah. they're, they're that good, they were that good, right? Tell me about the environment there. A- a- especially as a young player coming through, right? Coming to train and, and what have you. Yeah. I think I want, to talk, I want to talk about that, that young lion route first. You know? Okay, sure. That, that none of us managed to get into that Young Lions. Okay. So I thought that it was, you know, luck does play a part, you know, at yeah. the end of the day. Because of our batch, then the ones in the Young Lions were the Bahaki, Sharil. So there was no chance of us getting into... Okay. So that batch has the most players surviving till now. Okay. After that batch, the next batch was Harry's batch. Right. So they were the ones who has the most players now. Okay. So the ones in between are the ones that... Okay. Left with one, maybe two players. Okay. So I thought that that was, yeah, you know, luck plays a part in that. You know, true. Yeah, true. So so, so that 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 yeah. is probably uh, a good decision made to to actually go to Tampines as well, right? For me, yes. Yeah. But they didn't want anyone from our team. True. True. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, right? Yep. Yeah, Tampines environment wise, how how was that? Very harsh. <laughs> okay. So. You know, you're playing with like Malaysian Cup stars, yeah. national players, right. and all the yeah. superstars and right. all that. So, and me being introverted, I was just like <laughs> one corner on the bench in front of a toilet cubicle and just waiting for training. Okay. So, that was how my training goes every day. With who Who else were you? Like, like with you? So during that primary, there were seven of us. Okay. But the next year, I was the only one that was offered an SLE contract. Okay. So I was the only one. So every training, I was looking forward for someone from the primary league to come and join ah, us. Ah, right, right, yeah, right. If not, I'll be the only one. You know, they are the the seniors are the ones right. that, that you know. We won't let you in our circle if you don't prove yourself. You know. They, football they, wise, football wise. Yeah, yeah. they are the kind like that. Right. So okay. it's like I'm invisible there, you know. Okay. So I just do my own thing. Right. You know, <laughs> don't even dream of getting on that uh, <laughs> massage table right. and all that. You know, right. no such thing. Right. If you get on it, you gotta get hammered. <laughs> you know, and you are training like three hundred days a, a year, other than the off season. The only off days will be the match day. Because yeah. the reserve be training the day after. Yeah. So it was like training every day. Right. Yeah. How did that uh, so-called upbringing in that, in those, like you said, right, harsh environment uh, prepare you for your later years in football? Did, it, did, did you learn something that maybe you should do certain things? Maybe you should not do certain things? As probably a senior player. Right now you're a senior player, right? Yep. Was there something that you learned, you picked up? Because this, this is a great, a great story actually. Uh... In terms of the, the mental strength, I would say. Right. Because at that point of time when I was going through it, I thought that, oh no, uh, I, I think I don't want to play anymore, you know, right. until it reached that point. But as you you get on with it, you know, it, it trains your your, right. your mental strength. Right. And I think that was what they are trying to do, you know, right. to test you yeah. mentally, to see if you're strong enough to, to survive this. Football, I mean, I think for them that you can improve football-wise. But okay. this mental part, yeah. Where to see whether you can survive this or not. Right. Yeah. Interesting. The football wise, did you manage to hold on to it? As in, um, you know, compete with them football wise. Did you? Did you ever? No, we usually have this uh, friendly like primary against yeah. this S League. Yeah. So once we are able to string a few passes, that's when all the flying tackles come in. <laughs> Man, you know, you have to give the ball to them, you know? Right. Maybe right. That's, that's how I learned my, my, my skills as well, you know? Right, that you right, need to right. be fast on the ball, right. you need to think fast. If right. not, you are getting injured, you know? Right, right. In, in your opinion, right, does this ever happen? Now, now, in present-day football, does this happen, do you think? 
Because no. I, I just feel that this is an old school way of thinking. You know, the the senior players think, ah, oh, this guy is coming in. I'm going to whack him the first day of training. That you know that that kind of mentality instead of the nurturing type. Okay, come. You know, I'll talk to you. But you know, not not being like like t- treating you like a baby, but mm. you know, bringing you in, talking to you. Do Do you think that 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 thing still uh, holds today? No, 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 no. never. No. <laughs> Would I'm, you do that to a young player? No. I wouldn't want them to go through what I did, you know. But yeah. and nowadays, I think the younger generations have changed. You know, right. we have to sort of like <laughs> babysit them. You know, yeah. they can't really get. In a way, are they softer as well? Uh, <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, if right. I'm being honest, yes. Yeah. yeah. I think so too. Yep. Yeah. And and I I also feel that and again, it's it's only my opinion that that after maybe one or two, three. And not only that, you know, they they feel a sense of. Privilege, eh? Not privilege. Uh, yeah, privilege that that you know I deserve to be there. You know, instead of just you know you're a young boy, keep working. You know, one day you will be there. But no, no, oh, I should be there. I'm this. I'm that. Like training. You know, why are we not getting off? They are asking things. You know, last time you one word from you, I think you're gonna get a slap. You know, <laughs> you know, and and now they are. All you see all this the... happening, right? Yeah, of course, I I see this happening. Te- Thanks, Sharan, because you took the words right out of my mouth. I just wanted to say that, right? They, they, they have this sense of, uh, you know, uh, what, what do you call it? <sighs> the, the words couldn't come out of my mouth, right? But yeah, you know, a sense of privilege that they must be getting everything right, and yeah. and also, I also feel that after one, two, three good games, they should be in the national team. That mm. that kind of mentality, you know, and obviously we can't get away from social media. You know, I'm doing it, you are doing it sometimes, but they tend to go overboard sometimes. You know. Oh, last time the the advice was stay away from the media. From let, from who? From the senior players when I was okay. Yeah. Let uh the football do the talking, right. which I think was wrong advice because now it's all social media. You don't have to be good if your social media is good. <laughs> you'll be good as well. I are you saying that inverted commas wrong advice? Inverted. Or, uh, yeah, inverted commas, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh it's the right advice actually, mm-hmm. but not at this. Yeah. Current. Yeah. We got to move on. We got to yeah. change, yeah. right? But also, I think the younger gen should th- also think about it. You know, when they go out and post something, don't go and post something when you haven't won the. You know, just, mm-hmm. the way you're acting, yeah. it's it because you are already in the limelight. You must know that you are in the limelight mm-hmm. because whatever wrong thing you say nowadays, cameras are there, everything is on, right? Camera phones are there. So that that's a very good point. Uh, you know, I I I had a message. I I messaged this guy. Who played for Tampines, Mr. Rafi Ali? Okay. Was he, was he someone that you looked up to, or you thought he was one of the harshest person around? Yes, he was one of the harshest. Yeah. Uh, and he was my mentor actually, but okay. he was the harshest towards me because ah. maybe I'm okay under him. You know? But was it like an official official kind, like like Pam, the coach told told you, okay, you will be under Rafi, or is just like uh, an unofficial thing that he just took you in? That's it. What 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 was it? Uh, unofficial, I would say. Yeah. There wasn't any like. The coach telling me that oh you follow him yeah. or maybe there's an understanding between them. Okay. Yeah, but but this I'll... this 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 is what he said, right? He 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 told me this, right? He was intelligent and likes to play one or two touch football. That's what he said about you, right? And he also said that at that point of time, Palm's worry was his pace. He plays with one pace, so I worked with him on thinking faster and releasing the ball fast to change the tempo of the game. Mm. Was that the, a, a fair reflection? You think? Uh, when you say harsh means what? What 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 does it mean by harsh? Like, <sighs> but you get the stairs. If right, you, you know, right, in right. terms of like fitness <laughs> training, you always have to be in front. You are a young boy. Right, right, and, right, right, right. And then, needless to say, like carrying the GoPros, okay. luggages when traveling, pushing things. Right. You must always be the first to go and do it. You know, yeah. we don't need to say anything. Right, it's yeah. an automatic kind of thing. Yeah, right. right. So. Even like uh, matches, you know, yeah. like I have to do all the chasing for him, you know. <laughs> uh. So you imagine uh, me chasing, I win the ball, and one pass wrong, and you will give me that step. Right, like, right. You know right. that oh shit. Uh, it's it's kind of an intimidating. Yes, that's why I say I I wanted to stop football back then. <laughs> wow, it's it's and I tell you what, Sharan, you know I've got to tell you this, right? You have. Certainly, grown and and maturity wise, and I think your mental strength is much tougher because if you can go through that, right? What what is today's football? Yeah, you, you you know what I yeah. mean. Like, who, but I think with that that shaped me who yeah. to be who I am today. And also, a good thing is also you know what not to do as well. Yep, because you have kids. Yeah, 
right True. and you never know you might be coaching as well and those are the things that you might not want to do because times are changing like i mm-hmm. said well done great great job there let's talk about your role as a midfield uh playmaker or uh, listen there are so many things being said now right about that position yep. pivot midfielder central midfielder defensive mid some even call it a quarterback which is to me is ridiculous <laughs> you're calling a midfield player a quarterback right but tell me what but is i understand why yeah yeah of course yeah. right but but Tell okay in your own words, right? What is your position actually? What is your role, Karen? Karen. Oh, for me, I think. Okay, let's let's uh, LCS. What's your role in LCS? In position wise, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what is your role without giving too much away, lah? But anyway, people know already, right? <laughs> so so nothing to hide. Uh, we would say uh, link up the play, like the link up the play from defense to attack. Okay. So. So basically, linking up, breaking that first line of defense, mm. and linking up with our attacking midfielders. Okay. So I think that that's my primary role for LCS national team as well. Yeah. Right. So would you think that uh, what what is the word you you'd like to think that you are a pivot midfielder, a quarterback? What what do you think? Which which is the most stylish name lah? Would would we'll put it? <laughs> quarterback no doesn't sound right. Right. right? Yeah. Right. I think someone who playmaker who, would yeah. you be a playmaker? Yeah, from the back, I would say. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, I I think this is very important as well. How has that role differed over the years? When you first started as a midfielder, right? Mm-hmm. So how has that differed your role? You know, over the years, the many years that you played, right? The different kinds of midfield roles that you played, and how has that differed? Uh, when I first started out, I would say more like a a warrior kind of midfielder. You know, like the Haris, the Anu, ah. the Mustafaj. Okay. Uh, now I think. Uh, the coaches maybe uh changing in terms of tactics. So I think I'm I'm lucky to be able to to meet this few coaches this past few years mm. that that they are using me for my qualities. Who are they? The coaches, like from Jürgen, Gavin, mm. uh, Jürgen Vidi. from where? Jürgen from where? From Germany. The ah, Netherlands. okay, okay. He was so, with me. Okay. So he was Jürgen, Gavin, uh, Vidi. Then now. Right. Him. right. So, they all see me for for my qualities, you yeah. know, and, and they they want to make use of my qualities, you know, yeah. because everyone has their own strength. Right, right, right. right. So at the end of the day, it's the coach who who decides on how mm. he wants the team to play. Yeah, yeah. And and it's funny you say that, right? That you play in that Anu and Haris role. I I can never see you doing that. Like like mm-hmm. you know, I mean, I'm not saying you can't do that. What I'm saying is, I that, like you said, right? It's not your best quality, isn't yep, it? Yeah, yeah. Right? Would you say that you control the 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 pace of the game, the tempo of the game right now? Like like what Rafi said before, do you? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah? See, yeah. Right. Because maybe me playing there, that we are able to to build up more. Mm. Yeah. Tell me the qualities that you need because I think kids are if you want if you're watching is and you know what what are the qualities that you need to be in that your role. Because it's very important. Now you see, these are the questions that people don't ask yeah. you, right? Yep. It 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 probably comes naturally to you. Yeah. But what do you think is the secret? Uh, like for me myself, like I said, I'm I'm not always in the line. Like for me, I'm always thinking about the team. You know. Yeah. I will work hard for the team. Mm. Doesn't matter if I'm not doing it so well or I'm doing it well, but I I will definitely yeah. put in the hard work for the team. So, it's like. I must not necessarily get the ball every time. Okay. Like my movement can create space for my other teammates. Okay. Or that that. But I'm always there to help. Okay. My teammate who's with the ball. Right. One way or another. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you've got to be number one, hardworking. You got to be intelligent, up in the head as well, right? And uh, yeah, like like Rafi said, you you need to see the picture. Right. Do so, you? So yeah, sorry. Back then, like. What picture is he talking about? You know, <laughs> yeah. like you you don't see you were young, right? Right. But now I understand that what he's trying to say is like, you need to orchestrate everything. Yeah. Like, right. It starts from you. Yeah. If certain things don't go, you demand, right. and and like basically you are you are you are like everything happens yeah. for a reason. You should lead to another thing, leads right. to another thing. Right. I see you as a centre back soon. No. In, in a three. I no. I, nope. Nope. I always like attacking. <laughs> I never like defending. No, I'm not talking about whether you like it or not. <laughs> I I'm saying you have that 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 you know. I I think firstly the experience, 
I think you have the 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 qualities needed up here in the head. You, you tactically, I think you're sound. You why not, man? Yeah, yeah. I remember you, you know, uh, yeah. commentating saying that oh, Anu is there. I'm the happiest guy, right? Yeah. I am. Actually, you are right because you I are. get to attack. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like a burden off a little bit, right? Because when when he plays, I mean, when he plays yeah. or whoever plays in defensive, because now right now you're the furthest. Yeah. The, the so deepest. so there's responsibility right. on my part right. to. I said this because there was one game. I I don't know whether he came on in the second half, and then you were like suddenly going out on top, making those late runs, yeah. which I don't usually see. And it was very good to see you doing that as well, right? There was I think the early years of my football, right? Doing that. Nice. It's 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 good to see as well. Now let's talk about speed. Okay. I think recently somebody posted something. I don't know who that was. I was think it was Kai? the sailor fan talk. Is it? I I I think so, and it was a play. Abdil and, Abdil, yeah. and Akari. Right. So yeah. they were saying that there was this uh, fitness test, or I don't know what runs or whatever. So he came in first, and you always came in second. I came in first this year. <laughs> <laughs> so what 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 is this? What is what is this uh, drill or whatever? It's basically just a twenty meter sprint. Okay. Is it? It's not a yo yo, right? No, it's not. Okay. It's a test where clubs. Or maybe FA hole okay. that we we do every year, right, right, pre-season. Right. Okay, so you came yeah. in first for LCS or the whole of the no LCS, right? Yeah, maybe they they just didn't <laughs> give the hundred percent, ah, maybe. <laughs> Listen, if 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 people say shout out the name, right? Yeah, speed doesn't come with it, right? Exactly. Is that a fair reflection, or do you think that you are you are underappreciated in that department, the speed part? I don't know. Maybe the way I run doesn't look fast, or but I think I'm I'm decent in in that area. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and is that is there also a a a the reason is because you're good technically, right? So you don't have to be fast in terms of the 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 physical mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. speed. Yeah. Do Do you think that is also a reason? Yeah. Technically, you're I good, so you don't need I, to. I'm using my brains more than my actual speed. You know. Right. The, the thinking do faster than. Right. In my legs. Right, right, right. I think that 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 is a good point as well. Now I want to read you something, right? And uh, we we've played together for many years. He's played. He's a player that you can fully trust not to lose a single ball whenever you pass the ball to him. He rarely makes a bad pass. Rarely he makes a bad control or first touch. And technically, he is the best in the country. Guess. Make a guess. No idea. <laughs> That's uh Hassan for you. Oh yeah, Hassan said that you know and uh, true, yes. Mm, no, no. I think there are other players who are technical as well. Maybe not the thinking part, but technical abilities. I think there are some good players as well. Really, yeah. you're being humble again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so yeah, I th- I think that what what I want to say was because of the technical part, right? I think you can make do with you know not not being the fastest in terms of physically, but again, you are the fastest at LCS, right? Yep. Like I said, maybe they are not giving the hundred percent, and I'm the only one. Nah, nah. I think again, <laughs> being being a humble. No, an app description of uh, coming from a teammate would be like, I didn't know how good you are until I'm in the same team as you. Yeah. So basically, when he was an opponent of mine. People see me as oh he's just a simple player. Because same, I I I think I have that that but, same. But when he was in my team, he really appreciates what I do for the team. Right. Yeah. That's a that's a very good point. And, and so this... so I I I hold it to heart. It was really good to hear that mm. coming from a fellow teammate. You know. Right. Because I say I am not usually in the limelight, and to hear these things from my teammates. I think that's what uh, makes my day. I would say it's it's usually nice to get a praise from a fellow teammate, especially if it's like a player of the year. You know, the players' play of the year, the mm. players' nominate. You know, and you get the player of the year. I think that's always good, and also to fans as well, because you don't, you wouldn't understand the 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 tactical part and uh, how good this player is until you're already in that team and you're playing with him and you're understanding it. Because listen, I'm from the outside as well, and I I'm all, I'm always thinking that you're not the fastest player in the world, yeah. right? And 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 I think. It it's fair for any fans to think that, but also not to be, you know, personal and say that oh you are this and this and that right. So I I think that's very important. So here we go. Those listening, watching, Shadan is fast, right? He is fast <laughs> on paper. On paper, A straight line sprint. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about free kicks, my friend. Uh, do you do you practice that that part or it it uh, because you know I I think that. Certain players are good at certain things, 
mm-hmm. right? So like like for example Beckham, right? Yep. I'm sure he already has a, a a good technique, and then he keeps on working at it, right? Mm-hmm. You don't be you don't get there because you are very average, and then you start playing and kicking and whatever, and then you become very good. So you must have that that a little bit of a base base there already. Do you think you were that in terms of the free kick taking? Uh, yes, I think my my base was there yep. when I was much younger, like. My dad already taught me the technique. Ah. Then even in in primary school, like yeah. I have one of the the best shots. So okay. I I know that my my technique was was always yeah. there. Right. And uh, have you always been working on it after training, before training, during training? Um, after training, after I say training. almost till now every day. Yeah. Till now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Again, lesson for the kids at home watching in. That goal against Indonesia. So yeah. Yep. The best goal that you scored as well. No. <laughs> Uh, up there, I would say. Up there, yeah. Listen, what I like most about that free kick was the angle of your run up. It was ninety degrees, yeah. like square, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I watched it. I watched it, and it was superb. Okay, and I got to tell you, hands up, it was absolutely brilliant. And you, you, you said it right. That the importance of it as well. Yeah. Because because I was at home, I didn't get a ticket, and and my son, myself, my wife was jumping up, and I said that was great, you know. And we had a chance. And you receive all that uh, DMs of the yeah. celebration, you know. Yeah. So that was special. You. I think we didn't get there for a long time, you know, at the yeah. national stadium. Yeah, uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to ask you about you know the tournament itself because I already asked Hassan because I talked to him like I think one week after mm-hmm. he was still fresh. So yep. forget about that and and well done to that goal as well. Who is your idol in your position right now? I think is still Zidane, or, or is there someone else that you think at the present moment? Uh, I think I look at videos of post goals mm. Pirlo. Yeah. So these are the two that I would Class. say because they are like so called in the same position as yeah. I am, yeah. especially Pirlo. So yeah. I I try and look. Yeah, but just don't tackle like schools, please. <laughs> Why? I I can't do it. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Pirlo, man, what a player, right? Absolutely brilliant player. Ah, uh, did you ever receive an advice? Again, I asked you before, but this is p- pertinent to this exact position of yours, right? You're playing that you've kept until now. That mm. you know, in terms of playing in that role. Uh, uh, advice that you received on that role, uh, how to play it. I mean, so like I said, I started out with uh, as an attacking midfielder. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, it was uh, Rafi mm. as a coach who brought me to that. Okay, to that last uh, pivot midfield. Yeah, so the the same advice I say, like I should be the one like okay. dictating everything. You know, okay, like everything should go through me. Right. So so that was the the kind of advice that I had. Yeah. I I yeah I forgot I, you were saying this again and again I I forgot to ask you this limelight. Mm-hmm. Do you think you under appreciated everywhere you go right I don't I don't care where you are honestly yes yes honestly of course yes yes, yes. under appreciated yeah by whom you th- you think right this is your, obviously your opinion and your perception mm-hmm. by whom by fans by coaches but who don't appreciate you you think a fans I would say fans yeah. fans yeah. I feel that way too. No, no, no. Seriously, <laughs> it's right? good to hear that yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm right. Yeah, I, I feel that way too because you go about doing your job quietly, right? Yeah. Which, which, which I understand from the fans' point of view. I'm not the flamboyant kind who dribble past three, four players. Yeah. I'm the quiet kind yeah. who does his job. Yeah. So, I can see why I'm not the. Yeah. But they they also must see why there is that position. Do you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You you must because that's yeah. very important. Yeah. You like you say breaking the lines, coming coming deep to receive but a ball. But fans being fans, they only see scorers yeah. or and all that. You know, they they don't really see what right. happens during the game. You know, right? Don't yeah. worry, I I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. It's no no seriously. It's it's a it's a, a wonderful job that you're doing. So keep on doing that, man. National team, your debut. Do you remember that? <laughs> I think it was. Against Thailand in Thailand, if I'm not mistaken. How was that? How did that go? Ah, uh, did you start the game or? No, I went in about last five minutes. What I was think. the feeling like? First time wearing that, you know, flag on the chest. Actually, it was a relief. I would say that mm. I finally got my. How old was basket. that? I was twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Then? So I was. I started playing the S League when I was nineteen. Signed mm. the. Professional contract. Yeah. So there was three years after okay. before I was called up. Okay. So it was, you know, you were hoping but you didn't get it. Right. So right. finally you get it. Like, 
it's a it's a a relief for me to right. finally get it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. How many caps now? Seventy six. Do you think you could have gotten more? Obviously, the injury, right? Yeah. That that's curtailed the 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 part of it. But do you think by now you should have gotten hundred already? Yeah. I should be because I started off right. with soft one. Right. Soft right. one has it already. Okay. How different is it? Football at national level and club level. How how different is it? In one word, what is the difference? In one word, if you think you can think of a word. Uh, speed. Yeah. Yeah. The the pace of the game. Right. Yeah. Right. Not many people can take the step up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you struggle the first few times, or or do you 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 thought you were blooded in nicely? Uh, the first major tournament which we won in the Suzuki Cup. Uh, no, no, we played in. I played in twenty ten in Hanoi. Yeah, you first. won in two thousand twelve. Yeah, so when I started in that so called tournament, right? Yeah. I felt that I wasn't out of place. Okay. Like I I blend in okay. Right. right. I thought I did okay for a first right. uh, competition, but then after that I was benched the second game. Mm. So I mean, me being me, you know, I was brought up like that, you know, with the with <laughs> yeah. Japanese. Right. So just kept quiet and right. and I went along with it. Are you different now? Like like let's say if you 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 think you're playing well, you get benched. Are you different now in terms no. of the way think? No, you're not different. No. You're still the same. Yeah. You're still going. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should start talking, but of course now not so bad because you play all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to lah. But. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, when was the last time that I don't get to play yeah. often? Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Except for the injury time, you know, when you were injured. Right? Yeah, there was some the only... bad moments for me, like, Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah, about four years on and off the national team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you. So, so the difference probably is in the intensity and the speed, right? Because I, I, I did the 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 recent World Cup qualifiers as well, the yeah. one against Saudi. And, uh, yeah. You, you can tell, right? You can tell. It's, it's just. How far behind are we? And it's especially coming right from you because you've played you you the the current national team player, right? How far are we? In your opinion, be frank. Tactical wise, no, not tactical wise. Okay, tactical wise, we are not far. You know, I, I think so too. Singaporeans, we are. Yeah. It's it's embedded in us with this tactic, you know, the discipline. The, yeah, yeah. But in terms of man for man, we are way off. Okay, when you say man. Man for man means what? Ability. Ability. Ability, right? Yep. Right. Yeah. What? What? What is it? Speed. What? Intensity. Uh. 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 Ball the mastery. Quality. I would say. Yeah. The everything. Quality in everything. Okay. Yeah. Because it's speed. The quality. <laughs> you know everything. We we are just behind. Right. Right. Uh, let's let's talk about your bad days. Right. I think. It's good for us as well. Those listening in, the young youngsters listening in, to, to learn from, right? And you said you yourself said that you were in and out of the national team, uh, here and there. But let's talk about that that injury. You got injured in two thousand what fourteen, I think. Yep. You fractured your fibula and dislocated your ankle. Mm-hmm. Now what I want to know is because I read this, okay, and to me, it is something that I don't know. I'm from outside, right? You said your 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 ankle got. Uh, dislocated and it yeah. was in a different place yeah. from where it's supposed to be, yeah. and you pushed it back. Yeah, is that what is supposed to be done in the first place? I wasn't thinking like that at that moment. It was just when I was sitting on that pitch, my toes were facing downwards. Can you imagine oh. that? He was dangling and facing downwards. This was a, a what game was Suzuki it? Suzuki Cup, Cup right? Yeah. Okay. So my instant reaction was, "This is weird, man. I need to put it back." You know, was this the landing? Yeah. So, so when I, I think it was just a freak accident. Uh. I just landed on my toes, and Amri's shoulder just landed right on my ankle. So, so imagine this and his whole body weight. So it's basically, oh, yeah. Okay. And and you push you pushed it back. Yeah, because it looked really off, right. and I didn't want it to be like that. Right. So so who came on? The first person to came on. Ah, uh, to come on. Cut visa, right? Yeah, and she, but obviously the food was already in place, lah. But it was not gone. really. It was. But but he sh- you you knew it then, right? It's gone. It's, yeah. it's it's probably before I saw it, the reaction of players were were bad, lah. You know. Yeah, yeah. And and do you know now that you are not supposed to push it back? No. You you still don't know that you're not supposed to push it back. 
Okay, because I think I I think I don't know. I may be wrong, right? I thought the doctor said you could ask. It was fine. That the best best thing that you did. Yeah, okay. because okay, fair you enough. have to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's scary, man. <laughs> that's scary. Okay, so so you you had that and you took a long time, obviously, right? Because it's a trap. It's it's a terrible injury, and you you wouldn't want to wish that on even Anyone, the yeah. your your enemy as yeah, well. You know, it, right. it's ridiculous, right? So how long did it take to recover, and what was in your head? The first thing when that happened. Yeah. Uh, my first question to the doctor was, "Am I able to play again?" That that was my first How old question. Were you? I was. Two thousand fourteen, twenty. Still young, peak, <laughs> superb time, you yeah, know that kind of thing. Playing regularly, so you know. But this uh, is one of the things that. So what did the now. doctor tell you? Uh yes, shouldn't be a problem. Right. So that sort of like assured me. Okay. So I spend the night at the hospital with my jersey still on. Can you imagine that? Well, be, not not by choice, lah. Yeah, and nobody offered a change of clothes or whatever at the hospital. So I slept. This was in Singapore. Yeah, okay. Singapore. In Singapore. Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> no, I was I was in pain. I didn't think right, about right, it. Now course, that when I look back, that I was sleeping with sand and oh. you know damn jersey. Crazy man. <laughs> and and how how difficult was it to get back? Very, I would say, yeah. because it was a, a long and tough journey. I started recovery one week after that operation. Hmm. Started cycling with the cast on and all that, and, and it was one week. One week after. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, I think they do that nowadays, right? I mean, in the past, mm, the recovery wasn't, yep. you know. And now, I think after an ACL injury, I think you could start start <laughs> if yeah. possible, you start running the next week, right? Yeah. So, and was it more mental than physical? Yes, definitely. Right. But you know that you have to come in for rehab every day. Mm. And you know that you don't know when exactly you are able to play again. Right. Right. Yeah. Did it Did it ever cross your mind that I think this is not going to happen? I'm I'm going to quit, and I don't do my degree no, then. Then no? no. No. Never. No. You still had that that yeah? that drive. Yeah. So I'm thankful for mm. Cup Visa and yeah. Men, I think at the point of time. Yeah. Yeah. And and of course it took a long time to get back into a national team and you weren't you weren't selected for one of the and and I fractured it refractured it twice again after that after that the so same there, one the same one yeah so there's a metal plate so I asked the doctor is it okay for me to play with it he said yeah it's fine but whenever I I kept it to myself but whenever I play with that plate on it was painful as hell. While playing, yes, because the plate was yeah. When you receive the ball, your your ankle is always swollen. When you receive the ball, you know when the ball comes to you and you touch, <laughs> and when you kick, so it was always there. Then fractured once at the same venue, sports hub, uh, AFC match. Okay. Then after the refracture at Jurong West, same one again. Same one again with the metal plate still inside. Yes. After I decided that no, I want to. So was it. that the reason why? Maybe. How long since the last time you got this? That should. Six years now. So nothing happened after that, right? Yeah. So you probably is the metal plate, one. Yeah. Right. Wow. Because whenever someone hit that metal plate, when the plate hit the bone, it Ooh. caused that crack. Because the plate is harder than the bone. <laughs> yeah, of course, right. <laughs> so when when Wailun had it, I think two years back. Mm. So I straight away t- uh, told him to to Remove take it, it off. Yeah. yeah. Right. So right. he said, "Yeah, he he's he's." Much more comfortable that it's off. So you're hundred percent now. You think? Yes, I would say. Are you playing the best football of your life? In your opinion, at least, like like you've in in terms of mentally, you are at the right place. You are at the right club, a uh, right club maybe for the national team as well. You're playing well. You're doing everything yeah. right. You know, there's there's this sometimes you are in the zone, right? That you think that you know. Yeah, but like I said, I'm I'm thankful for for the coaches this past few years who's who's. Looking at my qualities and making mm. use of my qualities, you know, mm. which maybe I didn't get that much before that. Yeah. So this there's a consecutive run of coaches right. which believe in me. So I you you already named them because I know them, right? You 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 mentioned the names. Yep. Can you main name the names that weren't looking at your qualities? Oh, I rather not do that. <laughs> 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 I won't put you in the spot, my friend. Okay, okay. Well, we we all know, I think, right? Now, uh. 
Is there a secret for being for doing this? Is that is that the secret that you are playing in your familiar role and being used to the best of your abilities? Is that your secret to playing your best football? Do you think? Well, yes. Yeah. I think that there's a, there's a system in place where it's not always like fighting, fighting. You know, mm. there's a system for us to 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 play football. Mm. So I think that's that's where I I do well. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, the LCS a little bit, right? And I, I think. Uh, it's a big project and you've got your ACL coming up soon the, the the Asian Champions League you're flying off on Monday you're playing six games in three weeks I think two 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 yep right in, in Thailand yep. uh, how has it been so far like like uh, in the league campaign so far it, obviously you have to win the league there's no two ways about it you're the firm yep. favourites how about Agreed. the ACL what, what is what are your targets uh it's a first for me so i want us to put ourselves out there and, and see where we stand against the big boys you know mm. and compete i think that that will be the the main word for us mm. to try and compete with the bigger boys in the region yeah uh namely urawa who are the Daegu, other Daegu, yeah Daegu. And Thai Shandong. Shandong. yeah so all the three yeah, the possible group that we we can have, you know. And and again, listen, we are, we are not expecting you guys to go out there and win the Champions League, and you know. But but I think you guys are going to give it a go. Yeah, definitely. Yep. And uh, we we all know what happened to Temperis last season. You know, I think it was the strength, the depth, because when they went up there, of course they did very well, but they couldn't hold on. You know, because it's yeah. very difficult. Yeah. And then there for the longest time, and then obviously. Uh, I think that's that's the the negative part about uh, this campaign of ACL, you know, where you meet each other within that short period of time. Yeah. Whereas last time you meet them in three months time. True. At home and away. It, it's fresh, you know. At home and, and away as well. And you feel like challenging yourself again. Right. And now when you you keep losing and losing yeah, yeah. and losing, you know, it, it it adds up mentally, you know. Yo, the, the the momentum isn't there. Yeah. And then when they came back, they. T- Totally blew their their league t- t- chances away, and, and you know it's it's tough. But I think you guys are well better equipped. Let's let's say right because in terms of the let's hope so. <laughs> yeah, I think we are not uh, we are not wanting to count our uh, you know <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, th- this is someone. Someone said this right. He is a very calm and down to earth person. Very well liked in the team. Wonderful player. Sweet right foot, and I enjoy watching him play as well as playing with him. This is uh, what Harry said. Yeah. Now. Uh, it, before we wrap up, right? What's next for Shadan after you retire? That's a question I've been asking. I mean, I've, I mean, we players play football in mean, all of life, you know. So after football is, is the question that we all been asking, and I'm still looking for the answer. You know, maybe it's likely that I'll still be involved in football. Yeah. Maybe coaching or management wise but but i'm still looking for for that one thing that that i would want to do mm. yep i think you may you, you would Maybe make get a job from you <laughs> to do what <laughs> in it <laughs> why not why not uh, uh, i'll try i'll try but yeah uh coaching is one one thing that you could look at because i think you you make you, you can make a good coach right because you know the way you think and uh, of course of the lessons that you learned and uh and good luck with that right Thank good you. luck with that very much so quick fire round i've got a couple of questions answer it as quickly as possible I, and i gotta say there are some questions that are probably a little bit difficult not difficult like stuff right okay. but but you know just go just go for it yeah. enjoy right. yourself your favorite food anything depends on the day and time well just one Something that you love at the present moment, your favorite food. Oh, sorry, it's Ramadan, but pasta. Pasta, okay. Favorite drink? <laughs> Pokari. <laughs> it's a legendary drink. Man. <laughs> favorite actor? Oof. Uh, Brad Pitt. Actress? <laughs> Angelina Jolie. <laughs> These are the names I can think of. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. Best dressed footballer. In my team? Yeah, ELCS, National, anywhere you've played for, best dressed, you think, in your... Maxim. Maxim? Yeah. What does he wear? All the branded stuff. With yeah. All the accessories, yeah. watches. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, maybe because of the price more than the style. <laughs> Worst dress? Shinwook. Who? Shinwook? <laughs> really? Why? 
he's really dressed down with you know maybe he's tall so everything looks small on him <laughs> his shorts look small so it, it just looks off okay okay your best mate in football i know this one best mate in football <laughs> safon <laughs> The best advice you have ever received as a footballer can be anything. Stay grounded. Okay. If you were a superhero, who would it be, and why? Iron Man. Why? Because of all the cool gadgets and he can fly, so and the cool chick as well. Yep. <laughs> Biggest disappointment. Not being called up for the Suzuki Cup. You thought you were going to be in it? No, like I said, uh, every call up is is a. Uh, it's not an. How how do I put it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every call up is is special to me. Like yep. I say, I don't expect every right. call up. So every call up is is a surprise. You know, every time there's a call up, I will still look out for my name. Okay. Yeah. So this time round, it was which year was that? Twenty eighteen. Okay. I was playing uh in Malacca. Hmm. So that adds on to that disappointment. Okay. Yep. Uh, biggest achievement you think, till now? I'm sure there will be more, but at the present moment, winning the Suzuki Cup. Yeah, two thousand and twelve. Yep, great. Someone you want to meet but have not done so. Maybe someone you aspire to meet can be anyone in football, outside of football. It doesn't matter. I don't want to meet anyone new. You don't meet anyone new? You scared? Because you're introverted. <laughs> See, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, this is the most difficult question. I've got to ask at the end, right? It has to be the most difficult. Your favorite podcast at the moment? Yours. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Now, uh, before before we leave, right? This is some, some something someone said, and it's uh, is it you know? Uh, <laughs> I've seen him grow over the years as he gets older in age. He is still one of the finest midfielder for the country. Uh, love seeing him, seeing him grow over the years. A player that I really admire the most. As for a person, a friend, and a brother that I will never find a replacement for. Hope he will continue bringing success for the club and also for the country. Wishing him all the best and injury free this season. From whom? Tough one. Your best mate in football. Yep. So yeah, I, I got in touch with him through Instagram, and that's what he said. Uh, the last time I saw you both together it was in Gold Coast. Oh yeah, Do you remember yep. that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, with the yep. family you know, and all. Yeah, the Kmart as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Kmart as well. Yeah, this is just a background story, guys. So we just met. Uh, we went for holiday, and then we. I met these two guys, and then the I. Yeah, eh? and then I knew that these these two guys were the the best of friends. Not in Singapore, but overseas. <laughs> exactly, in Gold Coast of all places, right? Now, uh, before we leave, Sharan, thank you so much for being here. But any advice for budding footballers, uh, and also the best advice you can give someone who wants to play in your role? Uh, just just budding footballers who wants to get out there. And and be a professional footballer, and and someone, as especially especially coming from you, I I think it's it's great that you can balance both studies and football. I think you have that capability, and why not? If if you can do it, and anybody else out there can do it, any advice for them? Definitely keep working hard. You know things might not go as well or as planned as you want it to be. I think that's what's special about life. But yeah. you know, keep working hard. Be honest with your work. And in terms of football, you can't rely everything on the coaches. You know, you have to do certain things yourself, off the pitch, because the coach needs to plan for the teams. So, on your personal skills, you have to improve that yourself. Yeah, yeah take it upon yourself to to do it. Yeah. Shut up. Thank you so much for being here on the Silver Fox Hustle podcast. It has been very, very good. A very good session. You know, and I think it has been educational as well for the kids at home, for the people who are listening in, uh, for coaches as well. Things to do and not to do. And uh, yeah, I think there's there's loads to to take away from uh, today's episode. So again, have a good Ramadan. Have a good uh, trip to Thailand. Stay safe. Thank you. Try to win a game or two. You know, go go out there and just give your all. You do. Uh, yep, and so this has been the latest episode of uh, the Silver Fox Hustle podcast. Uh, at the end of the podcast, please click on the subscribe. 
uh, follow and uh, tell me who you want to see or meet uh, in the next uh, episode. So uh, till the next episode, the hustle beats talent when talent doesn't hustle. Cheers.